Last week I did a 10 fun facts video about downy woodpeckers, and now this week it will be 10 fun facts about their larger lookalike, the hairy woodpecker. Enjoy! Description and Range Hairy woodpeckers are one of the most common and widespread woodpeckers in North America. For the most part, they are permanent residents. However, some birds may move from northern edge of the range to more southern locations in winter. And hairy woodpeckers from western mountains move to lower elevations. Roughly the size of an American robin, they measure in length around 9 to 10 inches. And weigh 1.5 to 3 ounces which is roughly 40 to 85 grams. Their wingspan is 15 to 17 inches. Male and females are contrastingly black and white. The black wings are checkered with white, the head has two white stripes, and there's a large white patch that runs down the middle of their black back. Only males have the red cap on the back of the head. Hairy woodpeckers have a kind of soldiery look to them, thanks to their erect, straight-backed posture as they perch on the trunk of a tree. They have a look-alike. As I mentioned in my last video about downy woodpeckers, hairy and downy woodpeckers look very similar to one another. So much so that it was thought that the two species must be closely related. However, that is not the case. They aren't, which was a surprise to researchers. It seems that what's going on here is something that researchers call plumage mimicry which may give the smaller downy a couple of advantages. I did a video on this plumage mimicry in woodpeckers last year, and I will leave a link at the end of this video for those interested to learn more. Anyway, these two woodpeckers are remarkably similar in pattern, with the only real noticeable difference being their size, as well as the size and shape of their bills. Hairy woodpeckers are larger than the downy by, say, roughly 3 to 5 inches, depending and their bill is longer than the downy woodpecker's thorn-like bill. Another difference is where they like to feed on trees. Hairy woodpeckers prefer larger trees and being on the trunks or along the main branches of them. Downy woodpeckers, however, like smaller branches and trees, like these speckled alders. You are also not as likely to see hairy woodpeckers in suburbs and city parks as you would downy woodpeckers, especially in the east. Hairy woodpeckers also make a lot more noise as they pound into trees than smaller downy. Hairy woodpeckers aren't too picky about where they like to hang out so long as there are large trees. You can find them in mixed, coniferous, and deciduous forests. They enjoy mature forests, but don't mind visiting woodlots, suburbs, parks, and cemeteries, as well as forest edges, open woodlands of oak and pine, recently burned forests, and if there are areas infested with bark beetles, then you can be sure to see them there. Across North America, the hairy woodpecker can be seen from sea level to high in the mountains. In Central America, it is restricted to higher mountain forests. Look for hairy woodpeckers on the trunks and main branches of large trees. Their boldly patterned black and white plumage should be easy to spot. You can also listen for them as they busily forage away. It can be quite easy to hear their energetic tapping if you stand quietly. I often hear the tapping of a hairy woodpecker as they forage for food before I see them. Climbing and foraging characteristics. These woodpeckers are very powerful and hardworking as they hammer into trees. They can be seen hitching up tree trunks and along main branches, leaning against their stiff tail feathers as they rest or move around. You may also see them at the base of trees, especially on ponderosa pines, which are often attacked just above ground level by species of bark beetle. They also forage along fallen logs and even on the ground. Hairy woodpeckers sometimes follow the larger pileated woodpeckers. 
As the pileated moves on, the hairy woodpecker checks over the deep holes, taking insects the pileated missed. Apparently, the hairy woodpecker taps at the tree trunk until it detects an insect tunnel because of the difference in resonance of sound. It then chisels away the wood and removes the insect using its long, barb-like tongue. You are very unlikely to see them feeding on weed stalks, cattails, or reeds. Males tend to forage more deliberately than females, working longer in one spot. During conflicts, hairy woodpeckers raise both wings over their back at a 45 degree angle, crane back their head, and make shrill cries. Courting birds stretch out their necks, point their bills high, and bob their heads from side to side, flicking their wings as they circle a tree trunk. Diet and Role in Environment More than 75% of the hairy woodpecker's diet is made up of insects, especially larvae of wood-boring beetles and bark beetles, ants, and moth pupae in their cocoons. They also sometimes eat bees, wasps, caterpillars, spiders, millipede, and rarely cockroaches, crickets, and grasshoppers. A little more than 20% of their diet is made up of fruit and seeds. In winter, you may see one working on the cones of spruce trees. Bark beetles can be devastating to live trees sometimes, causing tremendous damage and spreading to other trees. Populations can even reach into the billions. Luckily though, when that happens, hairy woodpeckers are to the rescue, appearing in large numbers to eat the larvae. Wood boring beetle numbers also increase considerably in forests that have been burned recently. Hairy, another woodpecker species, such as this cool guy, the black backed woodpecker, who is well suited for burned forests, can become very common in these areas and achieve high nesting success. Like the downy woodpecker, hairy woodpeckers have helped control pest outbreaks such as coddling moths and orchards. Hairy woodpeckers sometimes drink sap leaking from wells in the bark made by sap suckers. They've also been seen pecking into sugar cane to drink the sugary juice. If you have dead trees in your yard or dead parts in the living tree, and if it's safe to leave them standing, a pair of hairy woodpeckers might try to start a family there. This is a good thing because in later years, their abandoned hole might become a home for wrens, chickadees, nuthatches, bluebirds, or flying squirrels. This is another example of their importance to ecosystems. Fossil history. The earliest known fossil of a hairy woodpecker comes from the Pleistocene deposits in Florida. Other fossils include records from the late Pleistocene of California and Alabama. There is also a post-Columbian fossil reported from Abaco Island, Bahamas. Nesting. Hairy woodpeckers typically excavate their nests in the dead stub of a living tree, especially trees with heart rot or in a dead tree. The cavity is often in a branch or stub that isn't perfectly vertical, with the entrance hole on the underside. It's thought that they do this to prevent flying squirrels and sap suckers from trying to take over the hole. Hairy woodpeckers begin excavating their nests less than two weeks before egg laying begins. At Backyard Feeders Hairy woodpeckers are common visitors at feeders eating suet and sunflower seeds. To bring the hairy woodpeckers into your yard, all you need to do is set up a suet feeder or a peanut and black oil sunflower feeder, especially in the winter when food is scarce. This is when I tend to see them the most. You could also offer them mealworms. The Oldest Hairy Woodpecker The oldest recorded hairy woodpecker was a male and at least 15 years, 11 months old when he was recaptured and re-released during banding operations in New York in 2010. A female, banded as an adult and recaptured in Brookings, South Dakota, lived at least 15 years and 10 months. Population status. Using data from the North American Breeding Bird Survey, the hairy woodpecker population was estimated at 8,500,000 individuals for the United States and Canada from 2005 to 2014. 
There are many areas that report a population decline in the species, which is thought to be due to fragmentation of forests, loss of old growth trees, and nest site competition with European starlings. Hairy woodpeckers are, however, noted as being one of the most prolific woodpeckers in North America, which should hopefully help their numbers to bounce back given the opportunity. Well, there's a few facts about the hairy woodpecker for you now, too. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you haven't seen the Top 10 Downy Woodpecker Facts video, I'll leave it up on the screen there, as well as the video of woodpecker plumage mimicry. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Happy birding.